Blackboard is a learning management system, LMS for short, that houses instructional content and other tools for your courses. On Blackboard, you can access assignments, grades, messages from your instructor or classmates, attend virtual classes or office hours, view calendars, and even take quizzes or exams. My Path should be the first place you go to whenever you need to do something related to classwork or your role as a student. Use your Big Sandy credentials to log in. If you choose to stay signed in, the longer you stay signed in, the more there's a chance you might have a bad cookie that you receive from the session. Staying signed in works really well for the short term, but if it's longer than about 60 days, you might want to sign in again. This is my path. This is one version of my path. You can click on the Blackboard tile to reach the Blackboard homepage in a new tab. For any browser that you have open, make sure that you allow tab pop-ups. When Blackboard opens, you will land on the institution page. It will show any announcements made for students in your institution. You will also see a navigation pane on the left. From this navigation pane, you can access your profile, the activity stream, courses in which you're enrolled, and other features such as messages, grades, and other tools offered by your institution. On the profile page, you can add a profile picture, add a pronunciation for your name, add a preferred name, add pronouns to fully personalize your profile, and give your instructors and classmates more information about who you are. The activity stream offers updates on your courses, such as when a new assignment is added, when an item has been graded, and when an announcement has been posted. You can edit your settings within the activity stream panel to send email notifications for these events as well. Most students, though, select the courses selection. Here we see one view of available courses. If you have a course that's marked private with a small lock on it, it means that the instructor listed on the course has not opened it for your use yet. You are enrolled in it, but they generally don't open it until a day or so before the first day of the course. Other courses you may see may be entirely open. You can select that square and open up that course to actually take a look at it. That's what we're going to do now. Let's open up one sample course. When you select a course in Blackboard, you will land on the course content tab for that course. Along the top of the page is a toolbar where you can access the content, the calendar, which is useful for seeing a visual layout of due dates for assignments posted in this course. The gradebook, where you can track your grades for this course. And messages, where you can send or receive messages to or from the instructor or your classmates. Along the left side of the screen is a details and actions bar. You'll see the instructor's profile, their photo, and a way to contact them. You'll see a way to view everyone who is in the course with you. You'll see your Blackboard Collaborate link. If you are asked to join the course online for either an office hour or a regularly scheduled session, you can select Course Room here and it will open up the Collaborate session where you can attend virtually. On the right hand side of the page is the course content. Each gray rectangle is called a module. Course modules are set up by course faculty, usually in a chronological order. They might be associated with specific dates, they might be associated with specific week one, two, week three, week four. They could be associated with units. The course faculty sets up each course content according to the needs of that individual course. 
so they will look a little bit different from one course to another. However, many of them start with the Start Here Course Overview module. That is an introductory module that all students should take a look at. Some of your common questions are often answered in the Course Overview module, including the preferred method of contact for the course instructor, what office hours and student hours that they hold in order to reach out to them about your course, how to get into your textbook, textbook information, as well as any other resources that they want you to have. Then, in a top to bottom orientation, the course is ordered according to the needs by that particular faculty member. In this case, it's a unit one. Notice that when I select the module, either by clicking on the title or clicking the downward facing arrow, it opens up. It's important to take a look at the modules in the order that your faculty member provides them to you. For example, the first level of content here is an overview of this module. This will help you understand what you're meant to learn in this particular part of the course, as well as give you some idea about how long it will take you or upcoming due dates that you might want to pay attention to. Oftentimes, we have students who skip down to what's called the assessment before they have actually looked at the actual content in the modules. So before you can do what's called an assessment, that could be anything from a quiz to an exam to a submission document. Before you do that, take a look at the rest of the module. This is how your particular instructor has organized it for you. Let's take a look at a different course so you can see how other courses are organized. In this particular online course, new course announcements have been brought to the front when you log into the course. You can view them and see anything that you need to know. Let me get rid of those course announcements and you can see that it starts out again with a course inter overview if you click on the downward facing arrow, you find something really similar that we saw in the other course. However, this one links you out to specific other things that this particular faculty member wants you to know. Each instructor can organize their course content modules slightly differently. Some of them do by unit, some of them do by week, Remember that it's important to look at the actual content before you attempt an assessment. Modules are meant to be looked at chronologically in the order as presented to you by your instructor. Students tend to look at the activity stream as an idea to help them get ready for their instruction. However, this will often delay your actual ability to turn things in in a timely manner. Here's why. Your activity stream only warns you very briefly before it's due. Even the calendar that you have, if you're looking at it as one day at a time, you don't know when to anticipate something coming due. What I would do is actually select the month view. This allows you to see everything that's coming up, much the same way a written calendar. You get a circle around the date that you're on, and this way you can plan your future ideas so that you're not doing an assignment the day before when the activity stream announces it to you. These are just some tips and tricks for Blackboard here at Big Sandy. If you have any questions, you can always reach out to one of us. We are more than happy to help you.